Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our talk, I wanted to speak to you about our relationships with our parents. Oh, yes. You know, obviously, I know this is a Bible study. I know this is a youth group at a church. So you guys always just assume, not you guys, but we always assume, oh, it's just about the Bible, just about God, just about Jesus. But what we do here, obviously, as I've said, is that we cover many different topics. We want to cover many different things, including things that have to do with our day-to-day -day lives. Communicating with our parents is not a problem that only your generation has. I had the same problem with my family, with my parents. My parents had that same problem with their parents. My grandparents had that problem with my great-grandparents, and so on and so forth. What are certain ways when you're communicating with your parents that makes them upset? Yes. I challenge them. You challenge them. That, yeah, don't ever do that. Okay, yeah, Rita. When you, no, <laughs> that's not possible. Rudy. They keep, they keep talking. Okay, so repetition, they keep talking. Yeah, Rita. They relate you to other kids. Oh, relate you to other kids. Very good. Let's take, for example, repetition. Repetition. As you are a child, a little baby kid, two years old, three years old, four years old, five years old, six, seven, eight, ten years old, a lot of times, uh, many of you probably have siblings that are that old. Many of you have cousins or family, somebody that's related to you that has somebody that that's that old. What do you have to do a lot of times when they're doing something wrong? You tell them to stop, right? You tell them, don't do that. And then they don't do it. They go, five minutes later, what are they doing? Doing the same thing again. So what do you have to do? Do you start hitting them? No. You tell them again. Hey, don't do that. That's not good. You're going to fall down, right? How many of you, you have little cousins or sisters or siblings, they jump on the couch. Stop jumping on the couch. You're going to fall. Get down. They get down. Ten minutes later, they're on the couch jumping. Stop jumping on the couch. You're going to fall down. You're going to hurt yourself. Get down. A lot of things that you guys mentioned just now, a lot of the things that you guys just mentioned that bothers you about them, are things they do because why? Because they care about you. Dear Lord, we ask you to help us and guide us always to find better ways to communicate with our parents. We ask you to guide us and to help us sacrifice and to help us understand that our parents truly do care for us and they do love us. They want the best for us and that the things that they do that annoy us are only because of how much care and love they have for us.